How to Grade Between Sizes on the Yellowtail Camisole by Disparate Disciplines. This video is part of the Yellowtail Camisole Sew Along series. You're going to need a few supplies other than your pattern pieces. A pencil, a marker or highlighter, and French curves. Here I'm using a fat highlighter so you can more clearly see what I'm doing, but you will want to use something finer so your lines are more accurate. Use a pencil when you're grading so you can erase any mistakes, but afterwards you might want to use a marker or highlighter to highlight your lines so that it's easier to see where you're cutting or tracing and also so you can help your notches stand out. As for French curves, they'll make things go faster, but they're not strictly necessary. Let's start by grading out to a bigger size at the hips on the front pattern piece. To begin grading, find your size at the waist. Start tracing the pattern from the notch at the waist to the bust. This half of the pattern won't be graded, so we may as well get it out of the way. One good thing to keep in mind is marking your bust notches at the top of the pattern piece. This will make cutting and marking your pattern easier later. Now you've got that half of the pattern piece traced, it's time to grade to a larger size of the hips. Trace your hip size along the hemline. Grab your French curves or hip curve and follow the curves of the side seams on the original pattern pieces. So here you see the side seams curve in a little but are largely straight. When grading out, your new cutting line should curve in a little while still being fairly straight. Note that your side seams may not meet completely smoothly when sewn together if you don't square off the corners of the side seams before cutting into your fabric. The process is the same for all the back, center back, and center front pattern pieces. If you have a smaller hip size than waist size, do the exact same process, except grade down to a smaller size. Something to pay attention to though, is the side seam on the back pattern piece. Notice how it changes from a concave curve at the waist, then becomes a convex curve at the hips. This is how you should grade if you're pear shaped. While I have more of an hourglass figure, I know I'll be gaining a wee bit of weight on my hips once the winter really sets in. So I'm going to use a larger size at the hips. My camisole won't be too big now, and in a few months after I've downed a lot of carbs, it won't be too tight. Now, for grading to a smaller size at the bust. In this example, the hips won't be changing size, so we'll only work on the top half of the pattern pieces. Here, I find it helpful to mark the corners of the size I will be grading up or down to. You will only want to grade as far as the armhole on the front pattern piece. Above the armhole, the pattern should all be one size. As you're grading between sizes from the waist to the bust, make sure you follow the curves of the pattern. See how it curves in as you travel up towards the bust then curves out as you reach the breasts. If you just draw a straight line from the waist to the bust, you'll get extra fabric in awkward places on your breasts. All the other pattern pieces should be graded in the same way as the front pattern piece, except for the top front pattern piece, which you will not need to grade. Just choose the size that matches the size of the bust you trace. The pattern has been graded so the smaller garment sizes accommodate smaller bra cup sizes and larger garment sizes work for larger bra cup sizes. If you have a very large bra cup size while fitting into a smaller garment size at the bust, choose your correct bust size at the side seams but trace a larger size at the very top of the pattern piece. Go to DisparateDisciplines.com to learn more about the simple changes you can make to fit your body. Once all your pattern pieces have been traced to fit the size you need, 
you're ready to cut out your fabric. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, pick up the Yellowtail Camisole at the Disparate Disciplines shop. It's a pay what you want pattern, so you set the price, be that free or however much you feel comfortable with. Half of all monies raised will go towards a charity for hunger in America.